Now, make you more confused. OK, here, let me change the question slightly. So this one could be honest or dishonest. OK? OK, and then if I ask you that x blah, 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 your okay, answer is equal to no. Wow, I just changed one word from yes to no. What will happen? Let's see what will happen. So let's look at the case that x is, so everyone understand what I'm doing right now here, OK? Yeah, if you are very, very quick, then you will see that by changing this yes to no, we are changing the last step to the opposite sign. So every answer will be opposite. Does that make sense? Because if we are ch changing this one, so it doesn't affect of everything up to this point, it only affects what when we compare this one with this one. If it is a yes here, then we will comparing yes with yes. But on the other hand, if we're asking a different question, we are comparing yes to no. OK, is that OK? So in this case, whenever we are comparing yes with yes, on the other hand, this case, it would be comparing yes with no. With no with yes, no with no here. Is that OK? So the, the result will, will then be exactly opposite before someone speaks out. OK? OK? And let's see what will happen. OK. So, so let's see, let's see. It's still let's see. So let's try the honest people here. And let's do that x is, assume that x is correct. So somehow, if x is correct, honest people will say what? OK, x is correct. If x is something correct, then this one will be, the answer will be, coming from the mouth of the honest people will be, yes. OK, yes. OK, here, yes. And then, is yes equal to no? No. OK, no. And coming from the mouth of the honest people, it will be? No, very good. So it will be no. OK? So this is the case where x is correct. OK, let's look at what happens if we are having a dishonest person. So if it is a dishonest person, OK, so here, what will we hear, the answer? If it is a dishonest person, if I'm telling him something that is correct, the dishonest person will answer no. Okay, the uh, dishonest person will answer no. Is that okay? He will answer no. Is no equal to no? Yes. Okay, so this is yes. And then this is the, the whole question's answer. But coming out from the mouth of this dishonest person, no. Very good. Okay. Is that okay? So believe me, okay. <laughs> yeah. If x is incorrect at the beginning, if x is wrong at the beginning, the honest person will say yes. And the dishonest person will also say yes. Is that okay? Okay. So let's see. So why am I introducing this one? Suppose that this person is one of the gods that we have, but then this person is either honest or dishonest, let's say. But this is god, OK, or goddess. OK, so this time, this is a god. Then we can use the same trick, OK? If I ask you that x 
your answer is da. OK, so this is a god. So for this god, he speaks da or ja as the answer. OK? Then let's guess what will happen. If x is correct, what will happen? If x is correct, let's look at the pattern. If x is correct here, we will hear yes. If x is correct, in this case, we will hear no. If x is correct, we will hear what? We will hear this keyword. Right? x is correct, we will hear that keyword. Even if, so if x is correct, that means that we will hear da. That's it. So if x is wrong, then we will hear ja. OK. OK, now this is one more step that we can, we can, we can, so although we don't know whether this da or ja means yes or no, we can still make our question in this form so that the answer is now meaningful to us. OK. We don't care whether, whether da is yes or no in the God's language. But if it is yes, then OK, then we will hear da. If da means no, we will hear da. OK. So the only case that, that depends, that, that is affecting whether we are hearing da or ja is whether the original sentence here, x, is correct or wrong. Whenever it is correct, we will always hear da. This is, this, is, this is the case. Is that OK? So we are actually collecting a lot of little results. And then these little results will help us solve the original problem, the hardest problem here. OK. So, so what, which kind of God is troublesome? Honest God, dishonest God, or random God? Which one is troublesome? Random. Random God. As long as we are asking some God which is not random, a honest or dishonest God, we can extract information from, from, from this God. Because we can, whether he is honest or dishonest, then we can extract the information here. We can use this God to tell us whether X is correct or wrong. Okay. So the only case is, we need to identify which one is random, OK? Or, or maybe we want to identify, as the first step, which one is not random. So we can use that God to help us, OK? Now, let me tell you the strategy. OK, so I'm going to wipe this part. So the strategy to ask three questions to solve this, so there's, there can be more than one strategy, but this is one that I think it is easiest. So the first, so we have three steps. So the, in the first question, question one, we want to identify one God that is not, so this is the most important thing, not random. OK, so let's say this God say, this God, let's say this God is, let's call, call it a name. So let's call it, this God is, give it a name is, let's say A. So we have a God A identified in the, in the first step, which is not random. Then, what can we do for the second question? In the second question, ask A. So we can ask A. So A is not random, right? Which of the remaining gods is random? So this can be the second question. And then the third question, you exchange, you can exchange second or third. OK, the third question is, ask A. We ask A, is, are you honest? Are 
are you the honest God? Okay. Now because after the first step, A is either honest or dishonest, we can use the trick to, to the question here to find out whether A is honest or dishonest, right? So let's, are you honest? Let's call this question X here. If I ask you that you are honest, your answer is da. Then if you hear da, then he is honest. If you hear ja, then he is dishonest. Is that okay? So we can ask a question like this. And similarly, here, so we have God A here. So there are two gods remaining. We pick out B, point at B. If I ask, if I ask you that is B, a B is random, B is the random god, your answer is da. Then if you hear da, then that means that B is random. If you hear ja, then that means C is random. Is that okay? So, it, so for the second question and the third question, we can use the trick here to find out the random one and whether the first god that we identify is honest or dishonest. Is that okay? Okay, now the last question is how can we find out a god that is not random at the beginning? Okay. <coughs> okay. Let me tell you the solution directly. Okay. Okay. The so you you are going to ask this one. You are going to ask this one. We are going to ask this one. But then you point at this one says. Okay. <laughs> Let me be sure. Let me get my paper here. Okay. If so I'm asking this person, if I ask you if I ask you if I ask you what? If I ask you this person, this this one, it's random. Your answer your answer, eh? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Your answer is da. Okay, so I'm going to. So uh, sorry, I'm asking this person. So I'm asking this person about this person. Is that okay? Good. Let's check. Okay. So how many cases are there? So, so let's say this one. So this one replies. So we have this one replies da. Then what we what do we know? What do we know? Either, so either, either. This one is random. So this can be a case that this one is random, right? Or, if this one is not random, what does it mean? This means this one is random. Does that make sense? Yeah, we are using the same sentence structure here, right? Either this one is random, but if this one is not random, in the case that this one is not random, then we can extract information from his answer. And we notice that da means this is a correct statement. OK? Good. So what does it mean? So either this one is random or this one is random. So this one is not random. Got it? OK, so we are going to ask this one, and then we will find out someone not random. This is our purpose. OK, there is another case. Also, let me write, re rewrite it here. Your answer is equal to da. OK. It can be another case. So this one replies ja. OK. So if Apollo replies ja, then what does it mean? So either, either what? Either this one. Is random. 
or okay or this one is not random this one is not random but the statement here is wrong okay or wrong it's wrong or or what or this one is not random is that okay because that is wrong and if we hit jar then in that case no matter which case if this is random then both the other two are not random if the, the other if this one is not random then the Poseidon is not random so in any case this Poseidon is not random okay so in conclusion we are going to ask this person about whether this is random or not okay depending on the answer either we identify that this is not random or we identify that this is not random the the one that is identified as not random becomes a in in the in our in our strategy okay once we got a we can ask a are you honest and then after that you can ask the remaining people from the remaining people which one is random is that okay 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 good okay okay so this is the solution okay it takes so much time i because i want to talk about something more